Hello and welcome back to our channel with a new video. Today we will discuss how to find your own style in fashion. So without further ado, let's start with today's video. Finding your personal style is more than just deciding which clothes you prefer, it's a trip and a process that will help you comprehend the essence of your identity. Finding your distinctive look isn't about setting restrictions on what you can and can't wear, instead, it's about having fun experimenting with what feels most like you and making the most of what you decide to invest. It's also vital to keep in mind that what you consider your perfect look today might not be so in a few months. This isn't necessarily about changing trends, it can also be about your own personal growth as you navigate through life's inevitable ups and downs. You might even discover that each aspect of your personality makeup has its own unique style and fashion feature, which you use on different occasions. Here are some steps to help you define your style, love your wardrobe, and move forward with your fashion choices more confidently. 1. Know your body type. Dress for your body type, not someone else's or someone's idealized version. Your wardrobe must serve you and be tailored to your desires and demands. Ignore the size tag on an item of clothing and quit attempting to fit into clothes that are too tiny just because you wish you were that size. Look for a dress that flatters your size and form and be comfortable in your own flesh. Remember that some fashion products are more suited to specific body shapes, so while putting together an ensemble, think about various clothes, shoes, and accessories. 2. What inspires you? Do your homework. Look for people whose appearance and style you admire on social media and the internet. Make these people your fashion icons. You might enjoy one star's modest, minimalist style, admire another's vibrant, eclectic, and colorful apparel, and discover yet another celebrity or media personality who consistently makes excellent grooming selections. Follow one of these looks or combine a few and make a note of what you enjoy about each. Making a list or catalog of your icon's fashion choices will aid you in identifying the essential components of a great wardrobe. Make a mood board with pictures of your characters. Once you've identified why you admire an icon's style, you can focus on your own preferences and motivations, which will serve as the foundation for your own personal style. This is what I enjoy, why I like it, and how I'll create my wardrobe in the future will be influenced by it. 3. Scan your wardrobe. Is this something I really need? When was the last time I wore it? Is it anything I like? These are the questions you should be asking yourself the next time you're standing in front of your closet door. Clearing out your closet can help you get rid of items you don't like or wear anymore for any reason and clear your thoughts and enhance your authentic personal style. Go through your closet with zeal and make piles like keep, give, and sell. Keep a piece of apparel if you can honestly declare you enjoy and wear it. Donate it if it hasn't seen the light of day in a long time or represents a time in your life to which you will never return. Finally, you're sure to come across some high-quality products that you don't want to take with you on your next fashion adventure, which you can sell. You get something else by selling some of your unworn goods, money to acquire other clothes and items that identify who you are. Cleaning out your closet may be therapeutic and even enjoyable. You can look back on the outfits that took you on crazy adventures or disastrous dates if you can find a friend to assist you with the process. You might even wonder aloud, did I put this on? One piece of advice for this step is to be ruthless. 4. Shopping Savvy A basic shopping rule. Only fill the void in your wardrobe when you've finished cleaning out your closet. Yes, only purchase what you require. This can be not easy. Let's face it, we all enjoy and fall prey to impulse purchases. If you want to save money and have enough to refresh your wardrobe in the future, though, follow this advice and buy what you need. Clothing can be purchased at bargain stores, many of which sell high-quality outfits. Make a list of everything you'll need and stick to it, whether you're shopping in person or online. Once you've found your inspiration and finished the mood board that defines your personal style, you can make this list. Learn to mix and match to get the most out of your existing wardrobe and keep your footwear in mind when making these decisions. 
5. Natural Instincts Trust your gut feelings. You're establishing a personal style. Decide what you want to do with your life and who you want to be and stick to it. No one knows you better than you, and while you may need to dress in specific ways for various occasions, keep in mind that this journey is about expressing who you are as a person. Of course, you must dress appropriately for the weather and the environment in which you live. Putting together ensembles for different seasons can be enjoyable, especially if you can use one piece of clothing or accessory for all four seasons. Your lifestyle is influenced by where you live. Are you near the beach or the mountains? Are you surrounded by nightlife or peace? These elements will have an impact on how you dress. 6. Add a few finishing touches. A striking necklace may elevate a pair of jeans and a white tee. Layered, delicate jewelry has a more feminine vibe, while edgy ankle booties, a bright handbag, or pearls may brighten up any look. In conclusion, accessories may give any outfit a new depth and convert it from casual to fashionable, formal to smart, or any other appearance you want to achieve. Consider your favorite colors and patterns, then go through your wardrobe again to find accessories that complement your appearance. 7. A Befriended Friend Don't be frightened to seek assistance. True friends are well acquainted with you. They are familiar with your personality and goals, as well as what looks good on you. They should also be able to tell you what doesn't look good on you, so seek and heed their advice. Better still, seek help and advice from professionals. Enlist the use of a personal stylist. Yes, it will cost money initially, but will set you on the path to solid fashion choices in the future. Another benefit of a stylist is that they can help find on-trend clothes suitable for you. Another essential step is to visit a tailor, so that the clothes you wear fit you flawlessly. Something you may have noticed is how celebrities, including your style icons, look great in anything. Why? Because their clothes fit them perfectly. You could enjoy the same advantage. 8. Signature Do you have signature clothes? One pair of jeans, a scarf, jacket or shirt that you are happy to wear on any occasion in which you feel comfortable and pleasant. Maybe you favor v-neck shirts or faded jeans. Maybe you have mastered layering to look good or can enliven any garment with nothing more than a scarf. These items could be viewed as a signature garment, and knowing what your signature garment is can help you find your particular style. Consider this garment and start to build your wardrobe around it. 9. Where are you going? What are your aims in life? What are your individual and professional goals, and how will your wardrobe fit into those dreams? When building your style, be sure to develop a character that is yours. If you have lofty career ambitions, gather clothes that match that ambition and suit your occupation and future career goals. Where are you now, and where do you want to be 5 or 10 years from now? Check your wardrobe and your style choices and determine whether your garments accurately reflect who you are now and who you want to be in the future. Your style is within reach. You know what it is and need to explore and create it. Do your research, clear out your closet, ask a friend or a professional and start building your closet. Collect some beautiful accessories, decide where you are in life and hit the shops. Before you know it, you will have created your style and you will be on the way to where you want to be. Your personal style is a representation of who you are. Leaving aside what anybody else thinks about your style, bring out what describes you and play with it. It's pretty fulfilling, I promise. Have you cracked this yet? Do you know what your style is? Let us know by dropping in a text in the comments section below. Still, need more information on this topic? Don't worry we have got you covered. Check out the links in the description box below to learn more about our resources and other helpful materials. Before you go anywhere, make sure to give our video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so you don't miss any of our intriguing videos. Stay tuned until next week.